Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great today. On our prayer request, we've got um, Pray for a Happy Life for PB. Uh, pray for Tracy. She moved and is, is going through homesickness. Sherry Gann has an unspoken request. Sharon needs prayer for God's intervention in her life. Pray for John. He was laid off from his job and is worried about how his mortgage and his bills will be paid. He has applied for unemployment but hasn't heard anything yet. And it, uh, if I remember correctly, you know, my, the company I worked for, the last company I worked for, they abruptly closed. They told us on Friday they were closing on Monday, you know. And, uh, you know, we've got two mortgages and... It, it is awful trying to get your unemployment. I think it took me at least two months to, to start getting it. And uh, that was the roughest two months we've ever had, to be honest with you. So I can definitely, you know, identify with, with uh, his worries. Okay, and our scripture of the day comes from 1 Chronicles 29, 14 through 20. But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you, and we have given you only what comes from your hand. We are foreigners and strangers in your sight, as we all our ancestors, as were all our ancestors. Our days on earth are like a shadow without hope. Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a temple for your holy name comes from your hand and all of it belongs to you. I know, my God, that you test the heart and are pleased with integrity. All these things I have given willingly and with honest intent, and now I have seen with joy how willingly your people who are here have given to you. Lord, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, keep these desires and thoughts in the hearts of your people forever and keep their hearts loyal to you. And give my son Solomon the wholehearted devotion to keep your commands, statutes, and decrees, and to do everything to build the palatial structure for which I have provided. Then David said to the whole assembly, Praise the Lord your God. So they all praised the Lord, the God of their fathers. They bowed down, prostrating themselves before the Lord and the King. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Who Am I? As a member of the leadership team for a local ministry, part of my job was to invite others to join us as group discussion leaders. My invitation described the time commitment required and outlined by the leaders who would need to engage with their small group participants, both in meetings and during regular phone calls. I was often reluctant, reluctant to impose on other people being aware of the sacrifice they'd be making to become a leader. And yet sometimes their reply would completely overwhelm me. I'd be honored. Instead of citing legitimate reasons to decline, they described their gratitude to God for all he had done in their lives as their reason for being eager to give back. When the time came to give resources towards building a temple for God, David had a similar response. Who am I? And who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? David's generosity was driven by gratitude for God's involvement in his life and that of the people of Israel. His response speaks of his humility and his acknowledgement of his goodness toward foreigners and strangers. Our giving to God, God's work, whether in time, talent, or treasure, reflects our gratitude to the one who gave, us, who gave to us to begin with. All that we have comes from his hand. In response, we can give gratefully to him. How has God been involved in your life? How can you give in response? Dear Father, please help me to respond to your love and care with a generous heart. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. 
everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.